This can be borderline dangerous as a new pilot, and it's something we need to try to resolve as quickly as we can. And that's the ability to recognize airplanes, even just off of hearing their name on the radio, and understand what that means in relation to our own aircraft. And at the end of this video, I have something that I think will help us solve that. You encounter and interact with airplanes in probably 99%, if not 100% of all of your flights. It happens all of the time. Say you're coming into a non-towered airport and you announce yourself and you realize that there's another airplane in the pattern with you. Maybe it's a Skywagon, a Centurion, a Pitts. Really, it could be anything. As new pilots, we start out by learning how to position ourselves in the pattern in relation to other aircraft. But one of the things that separates new pilots from more experienced pilots in this area is the ability to understand what that other airplane means in relation to us based on what kind of airplane it is. Can you picture the other airplane in your head just by hearing the name of it on the radio? Are they faster than us? Are they far slower than us? How does this impact our positioning? and our spacing. This is almost equally important to knowing that the other airplane is there in the first place. Say you're wanting to depart a non-towered airport and you hear another plane announce that they're on a three mile final. What kind of airplane that is makes a massive difference in your decision to go ahead and take off or wait for them to land. Is it a Super Cub on final or maybe a Gulfstream jet on final? These are worlds apart and that might be obvious even to new aviators, but what about maybe some of the lesser known airplanes? A Saratoga, a TBM, Aerostar, maybe a Mitsubishi, a Eclipse, Glass Air, Lance Air, etc. How does that impact your decision to take off? Or if you're flying in the pattern together, do you have a 40 knot overtake on this other airplane and not even realize it? Even the same thing happens at towered airports. Now while ATC, air traffic control, is in charge of spacing, at the end of the day, they're still human and it's your responsibility as PIC, pilot in command, to really be in charge of the safety of your flight. Being unaware of what other aircraft mean to you is a potentially hazardous situation. But even when it's not a safety concern, Concern, it still has huge practical implications. The perfect example happened to me just the other day when I was taking up a new passenger for the first time. I was wanting to walk them through the dynamics of landing and they had been doing some of the flying that day and they were doing a really good job. And so I wanted them to be able to do most of the flying all the way up until short final. We were instructed to make a short approach inside of a Falcon and I ended up declining that landing clearance knowing that a Falcon jet was going to make things feel rather rushed. Now it wasn't unsafe. We certainly could have made that short approach just fine, but it's not what I was looking for in that situation. If we would have been turned inside of, say, a sport cruiser, that would have been a totally different situation and one that I probably would have accepted because I knew that we would have had a lot more time to land rather than the Falcon jet that was just screaming in, coming in on final. Knowing what the airplane is and what it means has huge implications. Now, it's worth noting here that you don't have to know what kind of airplane it is in order to remain safe. For example, if you're on the fence about whether or not to take off before another airplane lands, just let them land. Go ahead and default to being conservative. You don't have to feel rushed. If the pattern is really, really busy with a bunch of airplanes, just do a few 360 turns and wait a few minutes before you try to enter the pattern. Never, never feel rushed just because there's other airplanes with you or behind you in the pattern. I made that critical error one time in the mountains of Idaho, and I did a whole separate video in it. I'll link it up in the corner here. It truly was the only time I've ever felt scared in an airplane, so I have learned this lesson the hard way. You should never feel rushed by other airplanes planes, regardless of what they are. You are responsible for the safety of your flight. And so being familiar with other airplanes doesn't change any of this. It just makes you a much more informed pilot. Now, it's no one's fault if we don't know a bunch of different airplanes when we first start out. That's certainly not a prerequisite to learning how to fly, but it shouldn't take years either. Even after years of flying, there's still a bunch of airplanes that I frankly just don't recognize, and I really, really want to change that. So to help accomplish that, I just launched a brand new tool, it's totally free, that will help us spot common general aviation aircraft. Most airplane recognition quizzes out there are just really, really unhelpful. I'll have a picture there and it'll say, is this an F-16, a 737, or a Cessna 172? I mean, it's wildly impractical to use for actual pilots in general aviation. Now the tool I built is far more practical and it's built for pilots and it's really meant to have hundreds and hundreds of pictures of most of the airplanes you are most likely to encounter in the skies. Now I'm still adding more and more airplanes and features to it, but it's still available and very useful today over at airplaneacademy.com slash spot, just like you're trying to spot that airplane. So airplaneacademy.com slash spot. And for now it has basic recognition information to help you build that proficiency, but then I'm also going to be adding different performance data to each of the airplanes. So you'll not only 
only be able to recognize what it is, what it's called, but then you'll be able to learn some of the airspeeds and some of the different characteristics of each of those aircraft. I want this to be a resource that I can use over and over again to continue to build proficiency, and I really hope that it'll be helpful to you too. So check out airplaneacademy.com spot, and let's start recognizing more airplanes together.